hello engineers welcome to engineer brandon's tools today we are going to blink a led on a pic 16 f84 with a delay that is we are not going to use a switch today we are going to make this led this let to blink on and off repeatedly as long as power is supplied to our microcontroller so let us write the code for this so we are going to write the code in notepad and compile it in mplab so we will first need our sudo instructions which we will get from our previous project which was to blink the led with the switch so here is our sudo code so the principle of blinking led in assembly language with a delay is very easy so to set our delay the principle of the delay is that we count from we count down from a previously set number and when it reaches zero we stop counting the zero value indicates the end of the delay and we continue our way through the program so the first thing we need to do is to define a constant to use as our number we will call this constant const next we need to decide how big a number to start counting so the highest number we can use is 255 is 255 then to declare this our constant we have to declare it and store it in our general purpose register so let us declare our two constants let us call them const so i'll have const one store it in our general purpose register with address 08 h h because it's in hexadecimal then our second constant to store it in another general purpose register 09h so let us now go to the start of our program so that is said so let us let us start our main program so you can you can pause the video and draw this this schematic on Proteus or on any other software that you can draw schematic there so we notice that this our schematic we only have one pin which is being used and this pin is our output which happens to be rb7 pin rb7 so we are going to declare pin rb7 as output and we will do this in our status register so we are going to say bit set f status rp0 so we can now define our port so we will define our pin rb7 as output so we are going to say declare f which is b which is the register then we notice that here we are using pin rb7 so we will put 7 here which makes pin rb7 being declared as an output So next, since that is our only input output port, we will get out of our status register declare f status rp0. So let us now start our main program.
so here is our main program so let us first declare the let the led to be on initially so we we'll say be set f or let me leave some space to make the code to be cleaner so i'll say bit set f port b comma seven that is initially then on the led so we are going to make this led to delay that is when when it is on it should delay for a certain period of time then go off then as it is off it delays again within that same period of time then goes back on and it continues like that so we are going to declare a loop so we shall call it loop one then inside this loop we are going to decrement our constants that is you decrement it until it reaches zero before the, the loop before the delay ends so we are going to see decrement f and skip if zero const one then you decrement it each time by one decrement const one and skip if so that is it zero so after that we are when each time you decrement it that is cons one initially has a value of 255 in decimal so you should decrement it by one each time then when you decrement it when it is zero you should skip this following instruction which i want to write go to loop one that is when you decrement it if it is not zero execute this instruction that is you go back to loop one and decrement it again if it's not zero execute this instruction go back to loop one and decrement but when it is zero you skip this instruction and come to this following instruction which says decrement f and skip is zero so this time we will decrement our second constant which happens to be const 2 decrement it each time by a value of 1 in decimal so it is going to decrement this one too and follow the same order so decrement it if you decrement it and the value is not 0 you should go back go back to loop 1 again go back to loop 1 each time it decrements it and the value is not 0 you should go back to loop 1 but when it decrements until it reaches 0 you skip this instruction and come to the following instruction down we should simply say we should turn off our LED by declaring declare f port b comma 7 so this one means turn off the LED so at turn off at turn off it will have to delay again so we will simply do the same thing as we did for the turn on so we are going to declare a second loop loop 2 for our turn turn off delay so this loop is simply the same thing like the first one so you have to decrement f and skip if zero cons one you decrement it each time by a value of one whenever you decrement and the value is not zero you go back to loop one so when you decrement it and you go back to loop one whenever the value is zero you have to skip this instruction and say decrement f and skip is zero decrement cons two by a value of one then when it decrements until it reaches zero 
say go back to loop go to loop 2 uh, sorry here was loop 2 because we are working with a second loop so So when it decrements this second one until it reaches zero, you have to skip this instruction and execute the following instruction. So that is our code, that is our program. So we have to on our LED, set our delay, then we off it, set our delay. So after that, we have to on it back and set our delay. So for us to do this, we have to send we have to write an instruction that will send us back here to our main function and start it all over. So we just say go to main. That is after our second delay, after the LED was off, you have to go back here and turn on our LED and continue executing. So that is our end, that is the end of our program. So that is it for our code. So let us save our code and compile it on MPLAB. So I'm going to call it DG, for example, dot ASM. So let us open MPLAB and build our project. Project wizard. Next. So you notice that we have pick 16 F84. Leave everything as default. Project name. Let me call it BD. Project direction. Desktop. Link delay. So let us select our ASM file. BD.ASM. So here is our ASM file. Let us double click on it. So this is our code which we just wrote. So let us build it and see. So our code has run successfully. So and and a, a hex file was generated in the folder which our MP lab was project was built. So here is a hex file. Here is a hex file. Oh, you cannot open it. So let us load this our hex file to our microcontroller. So you can pause the video and try to draw this schematic. So to load the hex file, I will double click on my pic 16 f 84 I will come here, program file. So here is it, hex file. It was found easily because our MP lab project and this our schematic are both in the same folder. So let me load it. Okay, then let me run the project. So that is it. We notice that our LED, our LED blinks. So we can also adjust the rate at which this our LED is blinking. This LED it is blinking for a period of one second, and our our processor clock frequency is set at the frequency of 1 megahertz so I, will, I can still make this LED to blink at a faster rate if I increase the frequency our LED will have to blink faster let me say for example 8 megahertz our LED will blink very fast in this case so we notice that the LED blinks faster so I can still adjust it to blink even slower so initially at the frequency of 1 megahertz it blinks at 1 second so for me to make it to blink for 2 seconds after every time period of 2 seconds I'll simply set my clock frequency to 0 0.5 megahertz so our LED is blinking for a time period of 2 seconds so after every 2 seconds it blinks so thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you and don't forget please continue to follow me for we will have 
more interesting projects to be doing not only with the big microcontroller but also with arduino microcontroller thank you